If you're just joining us, we're working on an algorithm that'll tell you what day of the week any calendar date would fall on. Now in our last video, as we were working through an example, uh, I, I thought about it after I made the video that it might be difficult for you to remember um, what days are associated with the number that you'll get zero through six. We talked about modular arithmetic and those sorts of things. And in the examples we did, um, we got some numbers zero through six. I think one of our numbers was a four and one of them was, was a three. And you're gonna have to recall what day of the week that's supposed to be associated with. Um, so uh, some of you may not have any trouble remembering zero through six, Sunday through Saturday, but most of us use a mnemonic device to remember this more quickly. So let me share with you what I'm talking about here. Um, when, I, when, when I say Sunday, when I, what I think in my head is none day. So Sunday is associated with zero for none day. It's a little cheesy, but it does work, I promise. Monday, you could think of as one day. It kind of sounds like Monday. Monday is one. Tuesday is twos day. So Tuesday is a two, uh, Tuesday code. Uh, Wednesday, if you think about the, uh, the letter W, Wednesday, the day of the week, it's like you're holding three fingers up. So that's how we remember that one. Thursday would be thought of as Four's day, four's day. You, they kind of sound similar again. Thursday is a four. Friday, you could think of as five's day. Five's day, Friday. They sound similar. And Saturday is uh, probably the biggest stretch, but Saturday is six or day, like almost like a Saturday. So yes, it's a little bit of a stretch, but you'd be surprised it does work. So let's let's do a, a little quiz here real quick. Um, here's a quiz. If uh, you did your algorithm, you did the sum of the month code and the day code and the year code, and you got the number three, what day would that be associated with? What day of the week would that be? That, that would be a Wednesday. Um, how about a five? Five, if you remember, that's like five's day or Friday. So five would be a Friday. Um, the last three I'll let you do. If you want to pause the video, you can do these, but quiz yourself. Can you tell me the last three? All right. Um, zero would be a Sunday, none day, Sunday, none day. So this will be a Sunday. Now, the last two are a little bit more challenging. Maybe you add the day code, the month code, and the year code. Maybe you get 12. 12 is not between zero and six, but remember, you can take this guy modulo seven and modulo seven, this would be equivalent to five. So this would be like Friday. Um, 29, if you take modulo seven, would be a one, and one would be a one day, a Monday. So here's the answers. So hopefully you got Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Friday, and Monday. So anyways, hopefully that'll help you uh, as you're doing this algorithm and you're getting uh, certain numbers and you have to associate it with a certain day of the week. Um, this is the mnemonic device that we typically use to remember what day of the week is associated with what number.